Daryl from Barbecue Superstars. We're down here in Rushville, Indiana. We're about 20, about 48 miles out of Indianapolis, and uh, uh, we're here this weekend at the Super Bowl. But I came by and uh, the historic park restaurant. Oh my goodness, we we went in here and we was eating, and this uh, very nice looking young lady named Jean uh, said. Uh, who are you? And, and I said, I'm Daryl from Barbecue Superstars. She said, Barbecue Superstars? And I was like, yeah, well, I, I'm Mr. Kingpin of Barbecue. You know, I know a lot about it and been everywhere. And, and so she got me in touch with these two fellows, but she brought me out some ribs. And folks, that might have been some of the best ribs I ever ate. Uh, sorry, Tuffy, and uh, sorry, Bubba. And, uh, but uh, as far as ribs goes, let me shake your hand right This man can cook some ribs. So uh, what's your name, buddy? My name's Ryan Conover. And what's your name? Larry Conover. Okay. Uh, uh, how long have you had the restaurant here? Uh, we were in the park. We had a fire, but we've been here uh, right at 27 years. How long was you in the park before you came here? Uh, 25 years. So it's about a 52 year old restaurant. Now folks, I just got the biscuits and gravy and potatoes. I didn't actually get like, uh, but I didn't need anything else. <laughs> they brought me out a plate, I think it's about 18 inches long and 12 inches wide. And I ate so much and I was just so full and it's, it was so good. But give us your little background in barbecue and your name and uh, tell us how you got started. Well, let's see here. Um, I'm I'm like th I'm 36 years old. I uh, I used to work in heavy equipment. My father's own. He he used to work at GM for uh, he he retired there for 33 years, and uh, my his mother uh, owned the restaurant before my grandma. And when we first started, uh, she, when she passed away, he took over, and then uh, we kind of got the business rolling a little bit. And then once I got out of the heavy equipment business, I decided to come here and try to test my waters in the food business and I decided to uh, get into the rib business and uh, we, we had it we, we, we got a good deal on ribs uh, on in one month and I decided to test the waters at it and, and I did pretty good at it I did pretty good I, uh, well what we heard was that uh, they actually ordered a whole pile of ribs and didn't mean to yeah. and they wanted you to get the ribs and, and so they could get rid of them yeah the this store the Kroger's down the road here they uh, they had a they they over ordered on the ribs one day and we thought well heck let's just buy the whole skid and see what we can do with it so we decided to you know start off and, and we sold the whole skid out in about two months so we thought that we might have had a good gig there so we started we did pretty good well you know i uh danny kugel when we were down in the florida fba uh, Triple Crown was talking about, you know, cook chicken for 30 days, cook ribs for 30 days, cook brisket and cook pulled pork each for 30 days, and you'll learn how to cook. And uh, looks like you got that training kind of without really expecting to get it. Well, that's definitely true. <laughs> definitely true. Okay, well, we'd like to invite you to come into barbecue competition with us. And uh, I know that Jim Beam in Kentucky has a... Uh, uh, a contest or whatever, but there might be some competitors that want to reach out to you. And uh, how can somebody get a hold of you? We want phone number. Um, our phone number here is 765-932-2940. Um, we also have another restaurant that we opened after the fire, and it uh, it's in Mays, Indiana, which is just nine miles from here. And then the number there is 765-645-5409. And your name? And my name is Ryan Conover. Okay, Ryan Conover might be a figure to look out for. Uh, we need as many teams as we get can get because that makes the prize money more for everybody. But, uh, you know, the thing that really mystifies me now, I've been in some restaurants where the, the, the people cooking the ribs were not competitors. And, uh, well, you know, uh, they're they all right, you know. But, but, folks, they brought us out a plate and had a half a rack of ribs on it. And I got the fork, stuck them in them, and that was the most tender, juiciest. How, how do you moisturize your ribs? Do you wrap them in tin foil, or what do you do with that? Uh, we we first we start them off in the oven for uh, for like three or four hours, and then after that we pull them out, and then we smoke them and caramelize the barbecue sauce on top of them. Okay, well, tender. Well, then I dug down, we got one out, and I started eating it, and I'm talking about the nicest smoke flavor. So just like some of the other competitors, and I won't say any names, but, you know, they do their, really, their their big-time cook where they cook it and then come back on the Weber, and they'll put the apple wood that's real wet on top of the uh, charcoal just to put that smoke in it. And I just got the most smokiest nicest prettiest flavor and he's got a rub to, i mean he's got a he's got a barbecue sauce too and uh, how'd you come up with the barbecue sauce 
It, we had a we have an employee that works out of Mays, and uh, she started a base off for me one day, and because I was kind of. I used to mess with like grape jelly, um, things like that, but she kind of started off with like ketchup and a little vinegar and some spices here and there, but once I tasted it, I, I, I added this and that and this and that. I can't tell you the ingredients. Oh, no. he's, already, he's already at that point, folks. <laughs> but once we, started, once we played with it for about a couple of weeks, we, we kind of got it down to a science and it seems to work out pretty good. Well, if you get in touch with the National Barbecue Association, which there's a link on my website. Now, i got a, I got a deep website, but if you go down toward the bottom, it'll say Barbecue Super Infos, Barbecue Super Videos. That's really where, like, the, the main hardcore barbecue information. But under Barbecue Super Infos, you'll find the National Barbecue Association. And I really encourage you to get in touch with them. They'll give you the footprint and what you got to do to bottle your barbecue sauce. Because, folks, you know I've got the top 100 barbecue sauces ranked on my website. It's the only place in the world. And I've got about 189 now. But I got a feeling this guy might be able to come in in the top 15 fairly quick because uh, it's just extraordinary. Uh, and I'm trying to think of who it tastes like. Shane, Shane Draper, don't get mad at me now. But uh, it's a little bit on your level, buddy. It's something like you, what's, what you're doing. Wasn't quite as dark as yours, but it was kind of close, uh, but I couldn't guess any of the ingredients. I kept trying. I kept trying. Oh, that's the mild. Yeah. Okay, what all yeah. flavors have you got? Well, we got hot, medium, and mild. Oh. Yeah, okay. and then uh, yeah, a lot of we put a little bit of liquid smoke in there oh, to yeah. give it a little kick. kick. Okay. Yeah, and then of course once you smoke it, smoke it out on the smoker, then you get the double whammy on that. Ooh. Yeah, Chatham Artillery, man. They use liquid smoke. There's nothing wrong with that. Liquid smoke is just where they took the, the fluid that came off and they bottle it. It's still go. natural. Yeah, so. Okay, well, uh, man, big news. Well, Pop, what do you want to add? You got anything you want to add to it? Oh, we'd just like to get started in it. It sounds like a good, sounds like something fun, you know, and uh, we'd be able to travel a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I tell you, once we, you. We've got, we've got a, you know, we got some really good chicken. You know, we do some pork. Uh, you know, all the way around. You know, we do pan fried chicken all the time, every Friday night, and we've packed the house. So, uh, both places. So, yeah, you have to come check the other place out too. Yeah, I'm. We'll have to ride over there in just a few minutes, at least to look. And uh, uh, how about you? Now, you know, you got the opportunity to make some friends here and talk to people a little bit. Uh, uh, ask one of the competitors come call you, get in touch with you, get started. <laughs> well, I just I love to compete, so. Anytime anybody's, you know, they start smacking or whatever at the chops, come on by and uh, I'll see. I might put you in your spot. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, did you hear that? Ooh. <laughs> well, well uh, the way. We love it. It's fun. The way the competitions work is, you know, you go out like on a Thursday night and you'll stay Friday and, and uh, you you get your uh, meat inspected, you have a cook's meeting, and then you cook all night, and then the next morning, uh, starting at 11.30, you turn in boxes at uh, 11.30, 12, 12.30, and 1. And, uh, and then uh, every 30 minutes, but the problem is, is you gotta get garnish, and garnish the bottom of the boxes, so you really have to do that on Friday or Thursday and refrigerate it, uh, and then you have to, and, and there's a certain way of putting the meat in, which the videos will show you most of it. But uh, uh, so I don't want you to go out there expecting to be able to just cook the best barbecue, put it in a box and send it. There's a little bit to it because of the nature of the way they do it. Yeah, but uh, man, it's really nice meeting you guys. Yeah, yeah, nice meeting you. And uh, we're going to go down here to Mays, we're gonna, but we're going to shoot around the outside of this restaurant here in Rushville, Indiana on Interstate 3. Highway 3. Highway 3. Yeah. Between what? Seven, we're in between 70 and 70, 74. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 38 miles southeast of Indianapolis. Okay. Uh, you can take US 52 to here. That comes straight into town. Three is the north south road. East and west goes to Indianapolis or toward Cincinnati. Well, Mike Mills, I mean, Amy, I mean, if you guys want to get a big-time guy back involved, another name, if you're ever out in Indiana, you just kind of heard directions. I mean, 
come on out here and see these boys and uh, we'll be looking for you in the future and uh, well we're going to go over to Maze and I'll add some more stuff to the video so we can get some more information about these two fine fellows here at the Park Restaurant, Historic Park Restaurant, 50, 52 years running and thanks a lot for taking this interview and this is Daryl from Barbecue Superstars. I'm at the Super Bowl. It's raining like crazy. We didn't go down to the tailgate today but we will be going back tomorrow. We'll have the Food Network people and everything out and uh, send them all down. Yeah. Go ahead Pop. I'll tell you what, let's do a one, two, three and we'll say send them all down. One, two, three. Send, send them all down. down. Hey! Uh, yesterday we went downtown and uh, we shot the, the Weber Grill restaurant. Yeah. And uh, wow, five star restaurant. Looks like some of the plates might have been $50. <laughs> 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 they had fine wood and everything. But, uh, now we're down here in Mays. Mays, Indiana. Mays, Indiana. And I was noticing on the way up, folks, that uh, uh, the houses might have been a half a mile off the road. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of good farmland and everything. Yeah. And, uh, uh, I noticed you both are eating ribs. Yes, and they're very good. So the ribs are why you came here. Well, talk, talk to us a little bit about uh, why well, you Well, the other day, the other morning we came here, we had been here for breakfast. And I did, and I think he was uh, up at the register, and I told the, the waitress too, I said, and I'm not kidding, that was the best gravy, the best biscuits and gravy I had. I just got through and with it. Did, did you have it? <laughs> and fried potatoes, you know, yeah. that's, that's it for breakfast for me. And then uh, last week we wanted to come down for ribs, didn't make it, and I said, we're going today. And my sister cooks the ribs too, and as soon as we got them, I took it and a fork, and they just fall off the boat. Oh, oh, fall off the boat. Oh, oh, yes, they are delicious. I'm not kidding. So we'll be back. Believe me. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I was up there, and uh, Gene brought out a rack of ribs to us, and when I first looked at them. Uh, the, the quality of the barbecue sauce, and don't get mad at me, fellas, but it was good. I mean, it was real. I mean, and then I got the fork, I did like that, yes. fell right apart, and uh, moist, and uh, I ate them up, and uh, we was fighting over the last bone. <laughs> and, uh, but you know, they did their work, and, and, and the thing that uh, uh, they've done is they did it for a whole year before they put them out. They learned what they were doing. They're on an offset wood smoker. And uh, uh, I'm really, really impressed. So we've discovered something. I don't think any of the rest of the Food Network people or Man vs. Food. Now you guys, yeah. will be, you guys will be down here in a month trying to trump what I just did. But uh, uh, Park yeah. Restaurant. Park Restaurant, yes. Mays, Indiana. Maze. Small town, but friendly people. And then one in Rushville. Yes, yes, and we've been there. Food's just as good, you know, very good. Okay, well, I'm going to do a big one, two, three. Pop YouTube. <laughs> and, uh, let's get in here and let's say we love park restaurants. We do. Yeah. All right, here we go. One, two, three. We, we love, love park, park restaurants. Restaurant. All right, this is Daryl from Barbecue Superstars coming to you live from Mays, Indiana, at the Park Restaurant. All right, behind every good man, there's always a good woman. We down here at the Park Restaurant, and what's your name, sweetheart? Joy Heyman. Joy, and uh, I heard that you may have, for, for many months, worked with Ryan to figure out this barbecue sauce. Isn't that how it went? Yeah, that's pretty much how it went. Um, I started bring, making it at home and bringing it in, and we started making it here, and between the two of us and Larry, we come up with a recipe that uh, we've been using for what, about five months now. About five months. Yep, yeah. and everybody seems to like it. It seems to be a hit. Well, now, Larry, has she told you everything she gives, or is she holding back the base? No, uh, she's not holding anything back. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, we just wanted to get her on camera for a minute, and uh, uh, how have people reacted to your barbecue sauce? Well, so far it's been a hit. Everybody loves it. Yeah, they I haven't like heard it. anything bad. Have you? No, no, no. The only thing we like to do is get some of that heat and stuff out. Yeah. yeah. We got to get some, some of them have a little guts to, to eat the, the hotter stuff. Yeah. But uh, we're working on it. That's a, putting flavor in our food around here is, is a tough thing. Yeah. So we're working on it. Well, I just ate some greens and cornbread. <laughs> I, I couldn't quit eating it. 
And I'll tell you what, the, the key thing is, they know how to handle the hog because there was some <laughs> seasoning in there that, uh, folks, you know what I'm talking about, that salt flavor that comes out of the fat back. It was really prominent, and uh, they know how to handle the hog. And uh, it's a great place in Mays, Indiana. And uh, what's your name again? Joy Hammond. Joy Hammond. Come on down here and see Joy, Ryan. And what's your name? Larry. Larry. Okay, and Larry. Conover. And the, Larry Conover, the whole family, wide open here in Mays. Make it a destination. Go to Indianapolis and have a good time. Stay up there in Rushville, then come out here to Mays and get you a big old plate on Saturday and Sunday. All right, moving on in maze.